Hello everyone and welcome to Janet Skates Art on YouTube. In this video, I'm working on two gallery profile cradled wood panels that have a coat of gesso on each one, completely dry and ready for paint. So for the colors in these backgrounds, I'm going lighter. You could do this same thing with dark colors. I've just chosen four or five different colors along with white. I'm using a light magenta, a Titan buff, gray, and a light phthalo blue to mix up to get kind of a soft background. And I am doing uh, a split background. So I've got, a, you'll see a top and a bottom but I could do this in any, any arrangement that I chose. I just have in mind that I'm going to add some potted plant uh, design to this piece, but you could, do, you could do anything you want. This is mainly to show you how I just work the paint on the surface. Uh, I do some mixing on the palette and then some I actually do like you'll see right here, I, I do on the actual wood. I like that, it's, it gives me the flexibility that I want to add, uh, so I get different shades of, of the color on the background. And working on the gesso just gives me, uh, it seals the wood, so, so that makes the, it take less paint, but it also gives me a bit of texture and grip to it that I like in in the background my brush i'm using a flat i think it's a three quarter inch flat brush that is wet it's damp and then my paint is just on my uh, cafe tray it's a plastic cafe tray with damp paper toweling and butcher paper on top that keeps my paint wet longer so that's normally what i paint with if i'm working on smaller projects uh, like this. If I'm working on canvas, I use a uh, larger canvas. I use my glass palette. But here, this is perfect for these size projects. And I like to do two or more of these at a time. Working in bulk is, is a great way, especially if you're doing backgrounds, to uh, knock them out at the same time and it allows me not to waste any paint. I just keep adding to it and adding backgrounds along the way. I might also grab uh, some paper. If I run out of canvas or don't have those ready for, for paint, then I can grab paper and put some of my extra paint on the paper and I have those pieces ready to go as well. So you'll see here, I've got kind of a peach and a rosy uh, that I've done here. And then this is a two inch deep cradled wood. So I am definitely painting the sides as I do the background and I'll paint them in different colors. I think some of them will be a, a nice contrast to the front and I may or may not extend my finished design over the edges. That I haven't gotten that far yet, but I do often paint the sides as well. That's an option and if I don't, then I like, the, I like the mixed colors on the sides to add contrast. By the way, if you're here on YouTube, I'd love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. That's always a great boost and I love making these videos. I've been off the video um, train for a little while, just taking a break over the summer and now I'm back and we have a new camera. So hopefully that will be an improvement as well. This video is sped up just a bit so that you can watch and see how I do this, but not, uh, not have to, to watch too long. So I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I look forward to hearing from you.